What's up YouTube, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a really cool, pinned up, sexy, thick ass girl. And you know what I say thick, I mean thick. And in today's image, I'm going to be drawing Laura Croft, uh, freehanding, and so it's really cool. But let's jump right into the video. So the first thing that I always do is I start off by drawing a guitar pick, dragon scale, or peanut shape for my legs. And after I get done getting the rough sketch done, I add extra emphasis to show its bodaciousness in certain areas like the boobs and the butt because those places might be places I want to have extra emphasis. But just draw out your image and just have a lot of fun with it and draw the shapes, the tubes, and the ladders. Um, the legs usually always looks like an upside down bowling pin. Just you can add different types of effects here and there to make things stand out by changing the location of certain things. For example, if you were to get rid of the leg going behind the front leg, you'll see how it looks like a bowling pin. But let's get on to the top part. I always use the Dorito method, an upside down triangle. It doesn't have to be a perfect triangle, but whenever I'm drawing the top part just to get the skeletal form going, I always draw the upside down triangle and then I delete certain intersecting lines as I progress through my image. And again, while making these voluptuous characters, uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, some things might not always look right. You have to make certain things stick out more, like the hips have to be out farther than as if you're just drawing like a basic person, a basic anime person where their body isn't as curvy as maybe someone you're trying to draw. Um, it depends only if you're drawing in this type of manner, if you are going to go for a more traditional style art form versus one that's a bit more cartoony. And when we come on to the top part, it's like I said, I start to delete some of the triangle parts that I was using earlier. And then I just start to feel where I want things to be by using guidelines. And when it comes to arms, arms is really difficult sometimes just to get the proper shape because the distance factor is always hard. So again, just use your tubes, use your potatoes, use your chicken drumsticks because they really do help out when you use those shapes when you're making your character because that's what all these body parts are when you're creating them. And this time around with my type of character, I decided not to make the breasts super banging, super huge because I was telling myself, yeah, it's lower croft, but I just wanted them to be a bit more proportionate than anything else. And so I decided to make her hips a bit more thicker than anything else. As you can see there, I was just adjusting one of her hips just to make it show a little bit more. Um, so her breasts are a bit more average, just petite. You know, they're not super banging like back in the day, old school video game, Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Um, and yeah, pretty much just really just feel like your character. And when it comes to the head, usually what I do for the head is I always draw a big ass circle right on the spot where I want it to be at. And then I'll just adjust it later depending on size. And then that's pretty much it when it comes to the whole outline process. Um, when it comes to making just a skeleton form and then I can start adding her outfit and for me in this case I'm gonna be doing her traditional old school Laura Croft outfit where she's wearing her cargo pants and her traditional blue top with the two silver pistols um, that was my ideal image for me to do while creating this character and again when you're at this stage this is the perfect stage just to add more emphasis to your character's body for me for instance I made mine have a really good looking but very proportionate but also very big and good looking breasts but they're still big but they're also pretty proportionate and so I decided to go for a little bit more realism when it came to making her body just to show what I liked before I started on her clothing process. The clothing process is very simple. Um, you can realistically just have a reference on the side to see what your character looks like this is, which is exactly what I did here um, I gave her her old school look and so her cargo short shorts and her lots of her belt sashes for her pistols and things that are hanging from her pants and um, pretty much I just started freehanding it and sketching it in my own way that I think looked cool and realistically just take your time and feel around with it with if the illustrator it's real easy to make changes yet once again just make sure you have a lot of fun with your image and it's okay to overlap things it's not a problem at all just have a lot of fun with what you're creating and just keep on pushing um, it's really hard for me to describe the this part of the video because this part realistically is um, realistically your own creative freedom you're able to do whatever you want and um, that's what I did here and I do want to seriously apologize about her feet and her hands I am very 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 bad 
drawing feet and hands. I've made this clear in a lot of my videos and I still practice here and there, but when it comes to drawing feet by itself outside of a shoe, easy. Put a shoe on her feet, I'm struggling. So her feet are not gonna be the most prettiest things, but uh, that's just that. And I apologize, you guys. But you know how I do, I just keep it going. I just keep on drawing it out, having fun, you know. If I need to tweak something, I'll tweak it later. And it's okay just to have some fun with it because at the end of the day, so what we do but as artists uh, you have to rinse and repeat when it comes to your creating your images and thankfully with the digital software it's very easy to just change up what you want to have going and um, with your character again like I said it, please experiment with the poses that you make um, this video is more geared towards advice when it comes to creating your poses for your character because you can do so many crazy things with the body in this particular if you decide to do a direct carbon copy of my image um, I just had some fun and I thought about her taking a step while holding up her gun as if she's ready to fire on anyone who's coming next to her so I thought about that in my head before putting it onto the canvas and just really just have some fun with it but I don't really have anything else much to say we're getting near the end of the sketching process and then I'll start finalizing where I'll start the video played by itself but if you have any questions please don't hesitate to hit me up down in the comments but it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Please rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell icon so you get notified for any of my future videos. I'm going to speed the video up just a little bit and let it play by itself with no commentary. But yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Out.